show. They use it to promote a special edition of Victorious that could be airing on the weekend. They throw up some videos that are exclusive to the website. And, you know, a lot of conversation generated about the website, too, on social media websites like Twitter and Facebook, of course. Uh, we are following all the stars of Victorious on our Twitter page at ATW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark. One, as I said the other day, I was on Twitter there, and I saw a lot of tweets coming from Victoria Justice about her friend's birthday, Leon Thomas celebrating his 19th birthday, and, of course, Victoria Justice there a couple of days ago celebrating her 19th birthday, born in 1993 celebrating her 19th birthday and she's had a tremendous career for herself she was on the show zoe 101 from there she goes to victorious in its third season she's had an album she's got a couple of nickelodeon original movies for the channel under her belt got a lot of stuff going for herself and i do uh, you know congratulate her on all her success and i'm sure she's going to have a lot of success in the future uh, from the success of victorious they just recently put out a doll I posted a review of the basic doll and the uh, motion sensor doll, which actually sings the theme song of the show, Make It Shine. And I saw it there over the uh, Christmas holidays, and I picked it up and took a look at it. It looks outstanding. They're going for about 20 bucks. They've also got some games released for the Xbox 360 Connect and the Nintendo DS. And if you've seen the Xbox 360 version of the game, it is so interactive. It is so fun to play. We reviewed uh, Victorious Time to Shine for the Xbox 360 here on the show a couple of weeks ago, and we reviewed Victorious Hollywood Arts debuts for you for the Nintendo DS, and I had so much fun doing that. Guys, this is our fourth show devoted to talking about Victorious, and we're going to have so much fun over the course of the next hour as we play some new music for you from Victoria Justice, a couple of new tracks from the show's soundtrack on the way for you, including Song to You in 365 Days, Listen for that on the show this afternoon as we're going to be premiering those songs. And tell us what you think. Do what the video suggests for you to do by leaving us a comment here on YouTube.com, JonathanClark22, and by following us on Twitter and sending us your opinion in the form of a tweet on HEW Entertainment's official Twitter page at HEW Entertainment Jonathan Clark one We also have a new URL for Facebook. It's Facebook.com backslash HEW Entertainment. So check out everything happening on our Facebook page in terms of a conversation. And follow our tweets at HEW Entertainment Jonathan Clark one I was on Twitter the other day and Victoria Justice was so happy she had one day off and she used her day to actually go see the gray with her mom and uh, she's having a whole lot of fun uh, working with Nickelodeon and will continue to work with them in the future very few days off for this girl as she's always doing something spectacular and of course I'll never forget some of her roles in shows like Zoe 101 and of course the Nickelodeon original movies uh, she did prior to Victorious uh, of course she was in that movie Spectacular which was about an indie band trying to make it big a lot of great stuff for her and of course that was back in 2009 one year before Victoria's premiered of course in 2010 with its inaugural season over 35 editions of the show produced, 19 for season 1, 12 for season 2, including a bloopers edition of the show, which gives you a little bit of information on the cast, what it's like off camera for them, how much they screw up with the bloopers and stuff, and the show was hosted by Rex Powers, which was very unique. And uh, actually, the guy who does the voice uh, for Rex Powers, if you saw it, was actually a British guy who does an American accent, which was kind of unique. Christopher Kane does the voice for that guy. And I originally thought that it was uh, Robbie, Matt Bennett, actually, who did the voice for uh, Rex, but it was actually somebody else doing the voice for him. And he's actually British, which is kind of unique, too, and that was really fun watching the blooper show. You'll find that in Season 2. If you don't get to hear your favorite Victoria Justice song this afternoon, you'll be able to find them on our Twitter page. At HW Entertainment Channel and Clark 1 music videos and songs are available from the show on our Twitter page. So if you aren't following us, head to HW Entertainment's official Twitter page at HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark 1, and pull up some of the music videos. That's if you don't get to hear your favorite song. Songs like Begging on Your Knees, You're the Reason, 365 Days, Song to You, are all on the way this afternoon, including the title track of the show, Make It Shine, both the piano version and the rock version, lined up for you this afternoon. But if you don't get to hear your favorite song, head to our Twitter page at HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark 1, and pull them up. The music videos are there. The uh, songs are there uh, the, with the lyrics whole lot of fun on our Twitter page. And I've had so much fun over the last couple of weeks talking about uh, Victorious. This is our fourth show on the show. And I hope that you have a whole lot of fun uh, with, with this week's edition of the show and past shows we've done about Victorious. And we'll continue to cover it for you here on HEW Entertainment Variety Radio. So I was on the Slab.com the other day 
and you know it's a fantastic layout it's not very hard to navigate through uh, it's done in a flash type form it's not one of those websites which just text and a bit of HTML it's uh, flash uh, plugin based uh, basically it's got a lot of detail on there a lot of stuff popping out at you including that galleries uh, videos uh, photos everything is on this website in one place and uh, if you've seen the US version of the website if you're fortunate enough to actually get the US version of the site uh, in your area I think the US version of the website is the dominant one uh, with cash profiles, show updates, a way for you to sign up for the Victorious newsletter and uh, information sent to your inbox from Nickelodeon. Uh, the website for Canada was produced by YTV.com and it's a sub-site, uh, kind of a sister site to the US version of the website, not as much content on the Canadian one. Uh, they're similar to iCarly's website, of course, which is iCarly.com, but they're also different in a lot of ways too and I'll be reviewing both versions of the website for you this afternoon. I'm looking actually at some of the screenshots that took the other day with some screen capture software I used and the website layout looking back at it here if you saw the photos I included at the top of the show in part one of the video here on youtube.com Jonathan Clark 22 looks absolutely outstanding it just pops right out of you. Let me just take a look at it here and show you what's on the flash version of the website on the Canada version of the website here, we have links to characters, games, videos, extras, a photo gallery, and there's even a section here which is Make It Shine is the title for it. I didn't have an opportunity to actually look at all of the website, uh, but the majority of the bulk that I took in uh, was enough to put together a show for you here this week. It looks absolutely outstanding. As I mentioned, uh, it's pretty much flash-based. Uh, there's a section, Very Easy Navigation. On a scale of probably four to five, I'll rate the navigation of the website five out of five. And it's outstanding. Of course, somebody probably five to six years of age is really going to like how the graphics kind of pop out at you. It's a website, of course, Flash-based, which has a lot of detail in there, too, which is really cool. I like Flash websites, you know. I, I wasn't too struck on websites that really didn't have anything popping out at you. Uh, and I love Flash websites because it's all Flash-based. And, of course, basically what it is, it's a website that's a movie. Uh, that you can actually use your mouse to navigate through and it's really really fun because there's more it's it's more interactive uh, for young audiences which is really cool and I definitely prefer uh, flash websites over regular websites with a bit of HTML and probably two or three videos and like I said you know they use the US version of the website for updates and newsletters and videos a lot more content coming your way coming at you from the US website than the Canadian website uh, which is a subsite to YTV.com, but YTV provides Canada with a lot of great programming uh, that we didn't get in past years from them, uh, but they've really stepped up their game, and of course, uh, you can catch Victorious on YTV on Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday to Thursday, and a repeat earring of the show which premieres on Friday nights, Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Time, so, you know, YTV doing a great job promoting Nickelodeon programming, but I think the U.S. website is where you're going to get the majority of your content, of course, with newsletters, uh, video blogs, profiles of the cast, a whole lot of fun for you, and the logo of the Slap.com, if I can actually just pull that up here. Um, when I actually Googled uh, the logo of the Slap.com, I didn't actually think that was the legitimate logo, but once I did some research uh, on the logo, I realized that that was actually the logo of the slap.com and when I saw some of the video profiles which I downloaded via YouTube software and saw the logo there then I knew they they tied in together significantly well basically it's a hand with some orange text with a bit of white uh, incorporated with it uh, it's, it's a pretty cool logo and you're going to be able to see the logo in some of the videos which I'll throw up from the slap.com in addition out of this week's edition of the show so we're going to have a lot of fun and over the last couple of weeks I've had a lot of fun talking about the video games and Victoria Justice's career and uh, hopefully you had a lot of fun in past weeks of the show here where we talked about the games, talked about Victoria Justice and the show and of course if you see the graphic here on our YouTube show uh, it's basically a graphic of the cast with a yellow background it's really colorful and I hope you like it all the cast members are there, a total of seven uh, everyone from Victoria Justice to Leon Thomas to Elizabeth Gillies to Ariana Grande and Della Monte. They're all there in this uh, graphic that we're using for our YouTube version of the show. So if you're listening to us on YouTube.com, tell us what you think of the graphic. 
Tell us what you think of some of those Slap.com videos and head to the Slap.com. It's all there for you in part one of the video. The text will direct you to where you need to be to get everything sent to you for the Slap.com. Of course, the URL is there. Uh, the information about how you can tell us uh, what you think of the show is there, too. So let us know what's on your mind. As I mentioned, if you don't get to hear your favorite Victoria Justice song, they're all on our Twitter page at HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark 1. So head there for uh, videos and music from the show. Of course, you can download the show soundtrack, of course, via torn up websites or wherever music is sold. You can purchase it online on websites like iTunes. And, of course, Victoria Justice has several albums released apart from the show's original soundtrack. It's great. And if you don't get the show in your area, there are a lot of torrent websites, too. Seasons 1 through 2 are available on torrent websites like isohunt.com and kickasstorrents.com. I don't recommend downloading a torrent if you can actually see the show in your area, but it's a show worth downloading and investing the time to actually watch the seasons in their entirety. As I mentioned, Season 2 includes a blooper edition of the show. Uh, there were over 35 editions of the show produced with some guest stars. Kesha was in Season 2, Perez Hilton in Season 1. Video Perez Hilton from the show is on our Twitter page at HW Entertainment Jonathan Clark 1 where he says, How did I end up on Nickelodeon? You know, it's really fun uh, seeing people like Perez Hilton and uh, Kesha guest star on kids' shows showing they have a bit of heart. Although Kesha really didn't have much of a role uh, back in Season 2, I think Rex has a, a more far superior role than any of the guest stars or probably any of the cast members. And if you actually saw uh, the blooper edition of the show, it's revealed that uh, the guy who does the voiceover for Rex is actually British, who does an American accent, which is kind of really cool, too. Uh, the Slap.com is a lot of content. You know, it's Flash-based, has a lot of great content, a lot of videos, and a lot of show updates. You can sign up for newsletters. And on the U.S. version of the website, you can actually create your own account for exclusive uh, features 